<sighs> All right, let's make this quick. This should only take about 40 minutes or so. All I need to do is just set up the mineral extractor, then activate the pump, leave it out for a good hour or two hours, it really all depends on how much I really need. I think I'll need about 40 grams or so of my tronium, and then after that, I should be pretty much good in perfecting the portal formula, and then I'll finally be able to get us off this stump of a universe. All right, just add that last pipe right there, add the chest, Backpack. Okay, I think that's the right chest. And there you go! And although normally that would be easier said than done, I've still got to hurry. If what Leia said to me on the phone is true, this could put the entire island at risk. Being a band is an integral part of our team. If we lose that, it won't just cause more tensions on the island, more than we already have but it may lead to an imbalance in character dynamics, which means it may get the attention of you-know-who. And believe you me, that is the last thing I want to happen, especially considering we're trying to stay on the down low from any extra-dimensional threats. Damn it, computer was right. It was way too soon to introduce social media to them. I mean, it literally hasn't even been 15 hours yet, and they're already trying to kill each other. I swear to god, if I have to bring someone back to life again, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Cause after Casey dies to the shark- uh, Wait, huh? What the? What the? I think my scanner's busted. It says there's another person in my location. This, this has to be a mistake. Damn it, and just when I thought things couldn't get any worse. Hey. Ah, uh, you have to be fucking kidding me. So it can get worse. Sir. I think I found him. He looks just exactly like him. Just as you said. For what he's doing down here? To be honest with you, I haven't the slightest idea. But the point is, we finally found him. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. But I won't let the stormy seas fill me in open water. Let me have my peace and leave me till tomorrow. Wind into my sail. Away from things I let go, floating on the waves We go bottoms up, we go all the way When you're feeling down, push the pain away We go bottoms up, we go all the way And face it another day We go bottoms up I do wait oh the 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 mandronium oh fuck the extractor should I leave it on oh god if it's on for too long it's it's gonna shut it boy god you never keep quiet do you not even when you're on the brink of death Ah, fuck! <coughs> where... Where am I? And wait, who the hell...
hell are you? Pipe down. Didn't the captain tell you to be quiet, boy? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos. Don't tell me you've forgotten me already, Lee. I am Captain Diamond, your greatest enemy. And I am grateful to have you once again on our ship, the Endwalker. I think you mean the End Swimmer. Huh? Well, it's a fucking ship. It can't walk, dumbass. <laughs> you think you're so smart, do you? That won't be necessary, Carlos. He thinks he's so smart talking down to us like that. But believe That's you because me, I am? once we get the information we need, he won't be our problem much longer. Once we execute him, that is. You know what? I'm already getting tired of him. Just bring him to his cell and prep him for interrogation. As I said, the sooner we get the information we need, the sooner we can get rid of him. Of course, sir. And for the rest of you, get back to work. Don't let the boss see you slacking, or he may not let you witness the execution. Wait, execution? <coughs> For fuck's sake, dude, can you be more gentler? I don't know, can you be more annoying? Dick. <sighs> Damn it. This had to happen now of all times. I'm so fucked this time. First off, the island is literally tearing itself apart. Then it turns into the universe being at risk of a crisis event. Which, although it is bad, I've honestly got to give myself props at this point. I think this is the longest time I've gone without causing one, which, you know, is good. But then again, it is happening again, which is, you know, the opposite of what I want to happen. But still. Anyways, on top of all that, I think I left the extractor on. Which means if I don't stop it soon, it'll suck the world dry of all its resources. Not just Mangtronium! Which, you know, is basically the equivalent of leaving the stove on when you leave for vacation. Except in my case, I'm not on vacation. I'm in jail. And it's not leaving the stove on. It's leaving a world-destroying machine on. And that's not even to mention the worst part of it. The most confusing as well. The, the pirates, like, what the shit? We're, we only had the meteor like a couple months ago. There's no way humans could be around yet. It just doesn't make any sense. Even if it is a multiverse, the, the odds of this happening are just impossible. For fuck's sakes, dude, do you ever actually shut up? Huh? You're still here? The boss instructed me to keep track of you. I intend to do my job. I'm not letting you out of my sight until we get the information out of you. So until then, I'm not letting you out of my sight. Especially not after last time. What do you mean, last time? This whole time you guys have been talking like you guys know me or something. Whatever. I'm not falling for your tricks again, Lee. Huh, so he used my name, so he does know me. Or some version of me, that is. Still though, it doesn't explain why they're here of all places. What are you babbling on about? If you have something to say, speak up. You're acting like you've never met me before. And what you took from me. That's because I don't. <sighs> Whatever. So he knows me, but I don't know him. How 
could that... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What if... Oh, crap. Um, uh, if you don't mind me asking, uh, Carlos, was it? How did our last encounter end? Uh, stop playing games with me, Lee. No, I'm serious. I think I have amnesia or something. <laughs> From an explosion, perhaps? Uh, fine! If it'll jog your memory, and maybe have at least a little bit remorse for me, then fine! I'll tell you. It all started three months ago. Back then, we were a thriving pirate crew. We sailed the seven seas. We were the most feared pirates in the world. Stealing treasure, making hits on anybody with a big enough bank account, and generally lived an amazing life. You know, we were almost like a family. But sadly, as the years went by, we were getting a bit outdated with the times, and we needed new technology to keep us on top of the pirate game. Then, you came along. You know, you presented yourself to be a bright young researcher who wanted nothing more than to make a couple new friends while sailing the seven seas. Ah, uh, how you fooled us. Then, what happened? What happened? You are what happened. Then we sailed around for a while, living the high life, until our original captain, Alex, found you trying to make out with the bounty we had collected recently. And instead of talking it out, you went straight into fighting your friends. You fought us like we were enemies, animals even. And in the end, we almost had you. Until. Until... what? Well, I don't know what was in the bag, but whatever it is... Whatever we collected, it was no gold. You poured some powder into one of our grenades, took nearly the entire ship with it. And when I awoke, you were gone. Along with nearly our entire crew. Carlos, I'm... I'm... I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Taking my friends away from me? My family? My wife? Ever since then, we've been stranded. With a new ship, a new captain, a new world. We still haven't found our way back to civilization. It's been months. You better be sorry. You took everything that was precious to me. Look, Carlos. You have every right to be angry. I might not know what you went through, but... Killing me won't change anything. <laughs> Believe me. The only thing I've ever wanted to do since then was kill you. But you're right. It won't change anything. Not until we get that information the captain was talking about. I might not know what it is, but if we'll set things right, I'm willing to try anything. For the sake of my friends, and for the sake of... Okay, look! That's enough! I know it's hard to hear, but I was telling the truth! I'm not Lee! Huh? Okay, let me rephrase that. I'm not your Lee. I'm from another universe. And you're from another universe. Okay, you weren't kidding when you said you lost your mind. What the hell are you talking about? Look, this may be hard to believe, but it's true. Let me explain. Occupying every single point in every possible reality is a Lee. One of, 
in a bigger part of a hive of the smartest beings in the universe. The multiverse, even. The multiverse? Yes, the multiverse. And look, although we may look nearly identical, we do hold some similarities and differences. Like, some of us are good. Mostly. But then, there are some of us who are bad. Pure evil, even. But even with all those similarities and differences, one thing still stands. At some point, we all discover interdimensional travel. All of us. Even if it wasn't by our own doing. What? And I'm just going off by what I already know, but I'm just gonna assume that your Lee discovered it too. And that grenade? It was no ordinary grenade. It must have been a ripple bomb. And it sent you to this. A completely different reality. But I've spent months here. No, 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 you're lying! Just think about it. You've been sailing for what? Like three months? And you haven't found anyone else. No other civilization. No other human beings. But me. No. 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 No! That bastard! Why? That means... If you are telling the truth... That means... My... My wife is most likely alive. This has to be some sort of trick. Look, there's more at stake than just that. The world is in danger. The machine you pulled me away from is ripping the world of its resources as we speak. If you don't help me get out of here, the world will crumble. Everything will be destroyed. So what? As you said, it's not even my home. It never was. Yeah, you're right. It isn't, but it isn't mine either. But it is now. Which is why you should protect it. I might not be able to change your mind in words. So let me make it up to you in actions. Let me make you a deal. If you help me get back to shutting off that machine and save the world, I'll help you get back home. To your wife. Wait, really? Really. What do you say, Carlos? You know what? You have yourself a deal, my friend. And Carlos is my alias when I was laying low from the authorities, but Lee... You can call me... Casey. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> After months, finally... We found him. And once I get my hands on his secret formula to his portal tech, I can finally get my revenge. Our version of him may have been able to stop me in the past, especially when I just take a reward in my tronium all those months ago. How are you doing? You didn't think I'd know what was happening here? You were in my journal, weren't you? You saw my notes, my concepts. I know you're trying to access the multiverse. And I know what you're planning. 
I'll stop you by whatever means necessary to prevent that from happening. Even if it means fighting you. Ah, uh, but soon. I will get my revenge on him. All of him. When I spread my empire throughout the multiverse. And there's no one who can... Huh? What the? What was... Sir! He's escaped! And... Carlos is with him. What's... What's going on here? Where'd all this fire come from? No. Not everything I've created. I've built! Oh, in flames! Damn it! Carlos! And where? Where is he? Why would he do this? Come on, Lee. You've got to be quick. I've got a boat docked a couple of miles from here. We can make our escape now. Okay, but are you sure it was completely necessary to, you know, set the boat on fire? To be honest with you, no, not really. I'm actually starting to regret it just a little bit, but then again, uh, if they do find out I released you and this whole plan ends up going to shit because you lied, I'm kind of fucked because they'll be hunting me for god knows how long. And it won't be especially hard considering we are the only people in like a hundred miles. So you can consider this like insurance. I guess you're right. I don't know. Oh shit, he's coming! Wait, what are you? Wow. Thanks for the warning. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna call my bet on that one. Well, well. What do we have here? Lee, run! Go off without me! He's dangerous! Oh wait, you're already leaving. Great. Really making me think second about this, you know, whole you not being evil thing, huh? Carlos, I'm not dangerous. I'm deadly. Especially to those who betray me, such as yourself. <sighs> you don't want to do this, Diamond. Right, I don't. But I do have to complete my mission. That's why I'm giving you one last chance, Carlos. Join me and leave Lee behind. But my wife, Carlos, with this formula, I can give you everything you want. Everything. I can give you your wife and your son back. My... son? Ah, uh, yes. That night, everything went wrong. Before Lee decided to pull off this entire thing, Lisa was gonna make a big announcement that night. A big one. The announcement that she was... Pregnant. I can give you it all. Everything you've ever wanted. All you have to do is hand him over. I don't know why, but I have the feeling it was always my destiny to fight by your side. Yes? But for once in my life, I'm taking my life into my own hands! <laughs> Goodbye, Captain Diamond. Or should I call you Brian? Okay. Just a little bit more. We're not done here! Yes, we are! Casey! Don't let me go! 
Please! Please! Only my friends call me that. You're gonna regret this! Maybe. That's a risk I am willing to take. Goodbye, Brian. No! 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 Daisy! Alright, Lee, here we are. Just do what you need to do and... Wait, what the hell is happening? Holy crap, the world has reached its limit on how much my drone can it spill out. I have to turn it off. Hey, Lee. Yeah? Thanks for a second chance. No, thank you. I know this may mean nothing since I'm not your Lee, and your Lee did a lot of bad things, but I'm glad I met you. I did it. That was close. Yeah, we saved the world. Anyways, uh, not that I'm in a rush or anything, Lee, but I, I was wondering if now you could help me get home. I did my part. Now I'm just hoping that you'll hold up your end of the bargain. Of course! But, um, I have to do one more thing before I can whip up my first batch of portal formula. What is it? I'll do anything to see my family again. Well, you don't have to do it since it is a bit weird for me to ask, but, um... Casey, can you play guitar by an off chance? Yeah, I can. Why? Perfect. Thank you.